So that you know the shorter guy, Palazzo, is going to have to step to you. And he does. That's what sets up the check for you to circle out, move back to the center of the big part of the ring, and start over. And Perella placing that jab right in the face of Palazzo. Palazzo and you see how Colazzo steps in with his right and his left foot, trying to get and stop Perella from gaining that covered real estate. So he's taking some shots on the way in, but I wonder if uh, it's a long-term game plan to wear Brian down. Maybe trying to take him out right. Looks to the body by Luis Colazzo as a minute has elapsed here in the third. But Perella answers back with a straight left, followed by a right uppercut of his own. And Perella hammered away on the body of Colazzo. He has this relentless mindset and this very strong will. Big straight left that connected. Something is up. He looks like a knock to his nose. Part of the ring dressing, but Colazzo's teed up by Perella. And Perella goes backwards. Big right left that connected by the 18 year veteran. As Perella remains in the pocket, but Colazzo is hit in out the kitchen. Take big straight left. That on its mark. Colazzo hearing the cheers from the fans here in New York. And if uh, Perella thinks this is going to slow down anytime soon, he, he's wrong. Sadly to be mistaken, because this is Luis Colazzo. Plenty of high volume, high octane action. He just can kick it into a second and third gear. So Luis Colazzo continues with this reckless abandon. Big left hand on the temple. It's in the right Referee will separate down, but that left on the tempo caught the attention of Perella. And look at Colazzo cut off the ring. He's ducking underneath there. These slight fades as well. Right hook to the body. He's really showing every bit of those 17 years of electrical experience. And they shot there by Colazzo. One thing Brian's doing too is seems as if he's only moving one way. Big shot right. by Colazzo. Colazzo is getting it. Look at these shots though, straight left that connected, wobbly Perella, and there's that another straight left on the temple as Colazzo coming forward, showing his aggression. You're watching PBC on FS2. Perella looking to spin around Colazzo, but Colazzo still coming with his jab, followed by a hook and an uppercut there as Perella goes backwards, straight left connected. Lashes, you know, a half second break where maybe the ref can step in, but maybe he's looking for something more. Prella using that jab, but he isn't extending fully as much as he was in the first and second round. No way to try that connected. to apply the pressure. It has been non-stop from the first round onward. Yes, coming out of the beginning of this round. He's throwing a lot of power punches, but he always seems to find a way to mix in the jab as well, Caleb. Yeah, he's going out with jabs. He's starting with jabs, and he's into the jab. Jabbing the wicked way in. Once he's getting there, he's laying off big combinations, like you said, and then right after that, he's going right back to the jab. Uh, Perella's hands are low, his head is right in the center, he's not moving it, and um, that's why he's getting caught a little bit uh, lackadaisical after the first round. Now the trainer, Michael Nowling, in Brian Perella's quarter said, hey, you need to win. He's next three rounds, so it's simple emergency. Put that feet where Brian Perella needs, because he rattled the skull and the chin on Luis Colazzo. There's definitely a little bit of a little swelling on the... Uh, the left eye, Palazzo, as well. Is it one of those things that, okay, I'm willing to take off the round so that I can have enough left for the last two? Maybe, but if I was him, I would be taking off on the, uh, sitting on the road to get to the game. It was Palazzo, compliments of Brian Perella. A straight left followed by right hook to the body, and now Perella seems to be her. He's smiling, that's an indication. He's a big straight left. Another one. Palazzo pulling it on as he goes right. Look at Colazzo go for it! 
The 18 year veteran hammered away on the body of Pereira. Big straight left by Pereira. By Colazzo, I stand corrected. Wow. Luis Colazzo finding that button of youth. He is Luis Colazzo with straight left, pouring it on in abundance. Boom, straight left. And look at Colazzo stepping up with straight left. Colazzo again up snatching. Brian Perez. Straight left, that bomb, its destination. Another thing, Brian, um, He's moving his feet as he punches, which is good, you know, there's nothing wrong with moving around the ring. But at this point in the fight, he's got to know where he's at. He's got to be seasoned enough and smart enough to know where he's at in the fight. On the inside line, not right on the rope. This is the kind of beating that you wonder well, if they do a take years out of their fight. That's the great thing about Bob Jones. Anything can happen. Big straight left, that clobbered Brian Perella. Colossal jumping up on the jab. No matter who Luis Colazzo fights next, he is going to give them headaches because he has done exactly that, along with giving a beating to Brian Perel. 20 seconds remaining in the fight. A big right hook followed by a straight left. But the chin and the will of Brian Perel has been tested, and he is leaving lightly on his feet. What determination, but tonight, it was Luis Colazzo who has his moment. Well, let's take a look at the second half of the fight where Luis Colazzo, Caleb, really started to take over. Absolutely. In the latter part of the rounds, Colazzo really picked it up, put his foot on the gas, and was taking it to him. You know, Brown putting up a good effort, fighting back in spurts, but it wasn't enough to keep him off of him. Round nine was more of the same. Colazzo working his way in with the one-two, letting off combinations. And Brian not answering back with much. Round 10, more of the same. Colazzo cutting off the ring, taking it to him. And, uh, you know, just outworked him. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we go to the scorecards. Here are your score totals. Judge at ringside, Alan Nace has the contest 95 95, a draw. Overruled by judges John Matfis, who has it 98-92, and Ken Ezzo, who has it 96-94 for your winner by majority decision, Luis Colazzo!